Hi, this is Nino from Cinema 5D. I'm here at BSC 2020 in London with Ross from Corda SWX. How are you? Doing well, thanks. You guys just announced, or actually recently announced, a plate for the new FX9 camera from Sony to power the camera. What can you tell me about it? So it's an all CNC plate. Uh, we made sure to take proper measurements off the camera body so it, it looks like part of the camera. If you look at all the advantages of the XDCA and you remove the 4K recording function, this serves as a direct replacement for it. It's available in standard V-Lock and gold mount. You get two D-taps on the front. It leverages two points of contact with the camera so that it's super sturdy. You have two screws on the top, as many do, but we also have a rail guide. So what that rail guide does is gives another point of contact so there is no torquing of the plate at all. You do have XLR input on the camera, so you can do hot swap. But there's one critical feature our plate has that no one else does on the market. is this power indicator light. It seems simple, but with this camera, to get it running off the DC input, you have to supply 19.5 volts. We do that through efficient boost converter. That 19.5 volts stays steady, irrespective of the battery depletion and as the voltage drops. So what this indicator does is, this will start blinking red once the battery gets below 10% or 13 volts if it's not a smart battery pack. And that's critical because you need to know when to change your battery pack out. You don't want the battery pack to die mid-record and that could corrupt your file. Cool. Does the camera actually, can it read out the battery percentage? It's not possible through the DC in. So it's a steady 19.5 volts. Um, obviously on our packs, we do have a nice little you know, screen on the front. As a camera op, your head's gonna be over here, so you may not see that, but you should see a blinking red light. Really nice. Um, pricing, availability? So $499, um, as we were talking about before, we got a little, a, a, a very big response and really overwhelmed. But any back orders we're looking to fulfill and have ready stock available um, throughout this, this coming month in February. Very cool. Well, I'm not surprised because I think the original XDCA FX9 unit that Sony provides is quite expensive. It's $2,000, I think. And it's, um, yeah, it's mainly for raw output and that right. kind of stuff. And it's very, very large. And this actually seems a lot more integrated than the original version, in my opinion. Thank you, Ross. Looking forward to reviewing this one. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and stay tuned to Cinema 5D for a lot more news from BSC 2020 here in London. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.